Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I haven't posted for a very long time and I thought it would be good to come back with a really bold look. And yeah, let's just get started. So I'm going to start off with priming my face and for that I'm going to use Nivea Men. I absolutely love this stuff. It's so, it goes really tacky. So let me just start with that. Over this, I'm going to take my PS Primer Spray all over my face. So I went ahead and put a tiny bit of product on my eyebrows because I don't like to go that full out. So, um, and for that, I used the NYX Cosmetics Brow Kit along with Benefit Browsings in the shade number four. And yeah. So, moving on to eyes, I just need to quickly prime them and then we'll start. So, I've set my eyes um, and went over them with powder and that's the shade Anonymous by the Urban Decay LTD palette, which is the palette I'm going to be using today. For transition shade today, I'm going to be using this shade up here, which is called Lace. Hi. <laughs> And I'm just going to be putting that as my transition shade, meaning in the crease and up. The shade Gash, which is a really lovely maroon shimmer. And I'm taking this in my crease. So I have intensified my outer V and now I'm just going to go ahead and add some lashes and also I highlighted my brow bone a tiny bit. So yeah, I'm just going to apply some lashes and mascara and I'll be right back for my face. I'm back with my lashes and I use Lily lashes because I love them. Um, and I use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, and I did a in a corner with road stripe, which was in the Vice LTD palette, and went slightly under my waterline and did some smoky stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna be using this Rimmel mixed with. The satin liquid which I used which which I use for priming my eyes. And also I'm gonna use a tiny bit of this um sand shade from Max Factor. And yeah, let me just mix them up and I'll be right. I went ahead and applied my foundation as well as mixing it. Um, and now I'm just going to go in with my damp beauty blender and blend it in again. So now that I've blended in my foundation, I am going to use this Bobbi Brown um, Eye Brightener Concealer thing. And just um, put this under my eye. I only like to use a little bit of this because it's nearly run out. And now I'm going to use the same piece of blender and blend that out. So now I'm going to go into this your your eye <laughs> um, contour cream contour kit and go into this light shade here and put this under my eyes. Actually, my damp the brush a little bit. This is again another Zoeva brush because y'all know how I should be obsessed with Zoeva. Um, so yeah, I really love Zoeva. Um, these aren't really that creamy, but once you put a bit of like liquid to them, they go really nice. So. I 
and I'm going to put some of that on my forehead as well and on the bridge of my nose and Cupid's bow and my chin and <laughs> under here So now I'm going to go ahead and blend that out with a damp beauty blender. So now I'm going to cream contour. I'm not using that same palette but it's a not a new product but I've had the brush. So I'm going to contour here, 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 here. Yeah. 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 I don't really like to use my jawline because I can't really see it sometimes. So. Yeah, I'm going to blend that out with the ooh, with this personalised soup. With this personalised um, Real Techniques brush, and this is the Stippling brush, I'm just going to dampen it a little bit, and that contour um, sticks really creamy, and I really like it because it blends easier. So I don't usually do all this because. I don't really feel the need to put makeup on because I have really bad breakouts and stuff, so yeah. But sometimes with this product you really need to go to town on it because um once it's on your face it doesn't really blend as well um, and for blending out my nose contour I'm actually going to take um, is it gone? lost it ah there it is right in front of me um, I'm going to take this Soeva brush and this is like the concealer brush now that everything's contoured, I'm going to take this Makeup Gallery Smoothly Does It Press Powder, which is a bit broke, so I'm going to have to be really careful with it. I'm going to take this Real Techniques 300 brush, I really didn't know how to say that, so yeah. I'll put this in. And that is going to go all over my face. Now that my face is set, I'm going to bake um, using my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and dampen it. I'm going into my um, PS setting powder, which is really good. And I'm going under my eyes. So now while I'm baking in the oven, um, I'm going to take my rice samples that I got for my birthday for free um, and it comes with all the, almost all the rice things. This one's gone missing, I've got hold of this one and this one's just amazing. <laughs> um, so I'm going to take this one I believe is... disturbed. I'm just going to open her up. This might take a while. She is open. Um, I'm just going to go into this shade with a lip brush and I'm just going to
I've just fell in love with a lip shade. So now I'm going to go over that shade on my lips with one of the MAC lip glosses. I got this at Christmas. And I'm taking the shade Sugar Rimmed. So I went ahead and wiped off my beak, so now I'm going to contour, if that was weird, the song's just changed on its own. I'm scared. So anyway, thank you. I'm going to go in with my um, contour brush by Real Techniques and my PS Contour Kit, the banana powder in this is absolutely amazing. Um, so I'm going to go in with this shade here. So I'm just going to blend that out, it's a bit harsh. Um, I'm just going to clean that up with my beauty blender again, but this time dipping into that banana powder. Um, now I'm going to do highlighter, so I'm using the Makeup Revolution Rose Gold Highlighter, um, and I'm just going to use my Bobbi Brown Fan Brush, they don't have numbers on these brushes and it's really annoying. So this is the final look, I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you did give it a massive like and thumbs to anyone who does. If you like this video please subscribe to my channel also and leave a comment down below of which look you'd like to see next and I will try my best to make that happen.